Welcome back. March is Women's History Month, and today we recognize a woman who helped break barriers in journalism. Dorothy Butler Gilliam was the first African American female reporter at the Washington Post. Her stories helped give a voice to communities that were often overlooked. Her efforts have also helped pave the way for a countless number of younger journalists. Bree Jackson has the story. She's a journalism pioneer. As a first, I had to open the doors for some others who would follow. In 1961, Dorothy Butler Gilliam became the first black female reporter for the Washington Post. At the time, the paper was male dominated and like the nation as a whole, mostly segregated. I was born in Tennessee and grew up in Louisville, Kentucky. So I was very familiar with the, uh, you know, the harshness of segregation. As the 1960s civil rights movement and women's movement made headlines, Gilliam's articles were required reading. She covered historic events, including the integration of Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas, and the University of Mississippi. Few white reporters at that time were really even going into the black community to say, what do you all think? What are your opinions of what's happening, you know, in this at Ole Miss. In her memoir called Trailblazer, Gilliam wrote of her experiences, including her efforts to promote diversity in the newsroom. In addition to her work in journalism, Gilliam co-founded the Maynard Institute here in Washington, D.C. The organization works to improve media coverage by making sure newsrooms reflect the communities they serve. Gilliam says being the first wasn't easy. But after nearly 60 years in the news business, she says she's proud to see more females and journalists of color taking on tough assignments from the city hall to the White House press room. I want to let them know how much their efforts are appreciated. In Washington, Bree Jackson. If you'd like to see more on this story or others celebrating women, just go to our Rocket City Now app or website.